Hello and welcome to Special Data Hub. In this video, you will learn how to enforce topology rules using QGIS. So on this website, I have a list of ArcGIS database, uh, GeoDatabase topology rules, which you can always learn from. I'll add a link to the description, or you can post the video if you want to read more. Now on your QGIS application, go to plugins, We'll need to activate a plugin called Topology Checker. It's a core plugin. You don't need to download it, but likely you don't have it already on your toolbar. So go to all, not installed. When you go to all, search for Topology. And you see the plugin here, Topology Checker. Check the box to make sure that it's, it shows up on your toolbar and close. Now this is what it looks like. If you don't see it here, right click and check the box for, yeah, plugins to, uh, but very likely you'll see it on your toolbar already. So click on it. It opens up this panel here. Configure the settings to set your topology rules. So on my screen, I have buildings layer and parcel layer. Let's set a few rules here to say that the buildings must not overlap each other. Click on add. Of course, buildings cannot be over one another, right? I can also say that buildings must not overlap with, and then you set parcels. So buildings and parcels to not overlap each other. Then we can say that um, parcels must not overlap. Say that. And finally, parcels must not have gaps. If there is spacing between them, it should be a root. So when you're done with that, click on OK. Just to let you know, you can always check off on uncheck any of these boxes. Or click on a rule and subtract it from your list. So, but we are good with this. So we click on OK. And next we do it, validate. When we validate, we get a list of errors that are shown here. We get the feature IDs. If you have a large data set, you might not be able to zoom in on each of these errors. The easiest way will just be to click on them, double click, and it takes you straight to them. Uncheck this box here to say show error on map canvas so that you could see how to edit your feature. If you want to learn how to edit features like this without redrawing them, check the description of this video and I will drop a link on how exactly you can do that. Of course, when you're done with all of these, you can always validate a key and the error list continues dropping as you continue to edit. That will be it for this video. Let me know if you have any problems with this or if it was successful. Do also subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.